you know, everybody's a naysayer. And uh, sure enough, I was like, Megan, Megan, Megan. I think I got him foul hooked. <laughs> He's still a good one. That's what Gunners was all about right there. My name's Tim Chandler. On Lake Gunnersville, and when them classic boys come in February, that's what they're going to be looking for. I know they can't throw an Alabama rig, but they can sure throw a single swim bait and a rattle bait, and they're going to love to have about five of them a day right there. Probably going to take about 70 pounds to win. Y'all stay tuned and you'll see. He rocked it. <laughs> He's not bad. He crushed it. Now he don't want to fight. He got him lassoed. Wow. Take an act of Congress to get that one undone. Not too bad. A little two and a half, three pound fish. I told him about my hickey, he got it, didn't he? Ugh. Hit it twice right at the boat. He's a little guy, but we like him. You know, there's no saying, if every fish was a big fish, then what's a big fish, right? A lot of people think that uh, the Alabama rig is like the saving grace and there ain't nothing to it, just throw it out there and you catch one. And sometimes that's true, but the majority of the time that's not true. It's just another tool to catch fish on. There's more to it than just throwing it out there and winding it in. I mean, we don't just take our spinner baits or our crank baits and, and throw them out there and wind them in. There's little things you can do. You can, you can pull on them make, them, make them flare. You can also quit reeling them and make them drop. There's a, it's really limited, unlimited to what you can do to it, just like any other bait. You know, it's all about how fast you reel it, how slow you reel it. Do you pop it? Do you not pop it? Um, a lot of fish will follow the bait. Whenever they fall on it, of course, you don't know that they're following it because you can't see them down there. At least I can't see them. And uh, doing something like that a little bit different will uh, trigger them into biting. And, um, you know, the more seasoned guy is going to do that. And he does it on a regular basis. And if you've probably been watching me reel it in, you see some of the things that I'm doing. It just comes natural. I don't even think about it. You know, I'm, I'm popping it. I don't even think about it. Sometimes I stop it. I'm just trying to make that bait do a little bit of something different to make the, uh, make the fish go after it. I tell a lot of people all the time, I compare fishing to playing with a house cat. Take a ball and string, throw it out there, drag it in, cat's gonna fall it the first four or five times. After that, he gets kind of bored with it. And then uh, you throw it out there and pull that string and also maybe you just jerk it really, really fast. Well, it gets the cat's attention again. Same thing with the fish. And they get accustomed to, to baits of coming by them all the time. So you gotta do something different. Uh, give it a try. Works for me, maybe it'll work for you. Pretty good stuff.